In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of the great Saint Andrew, who, as we know, was an apostle, and the brother, indeed, of Simon Peter, the first pope. Saint Andrew, who preached the gospel in Achaia, was there martyred by being crucified, and according to tradition, in the shape of an X. He is the principal patron of Scotland. In today's collect, we read, So may he be a constant advocate for, for us before thee. These words, of course, are addressed to God. And they refer to St. Andrew as an advocate or intercessor. This beautifully ties in with the episode in the Gospel, which reports Andrew's enthusiastic and faith-filled simplicity in bringing his brother Simon Peter to Christ. He told him quite simply, we have found the Messiah. The work of an advocate or intercessor, someone who intercedes for someone else in need, is always to bring them to that which is good. We see a beautiful example of this in Andrew, who brings souls to Christ. This is the mission par excellence of all the apostles. And in light of this, it is appropriately Andrew who points out the boy just before one of Christ's multiplications of loaves and fishes, saying to our Lord Jesus, there is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two fish. This pointing out of the boy we can understand also spiritually. Andrew, according to today's liturgy, the Alleluia verse, became an odor of sweetness. We know that he offered his life in testimony for his faith and for the love of our Lord Jesus. And we too are called to offer our lives by practicing a perfect consecration, by perfecting the consecration which we began with the reception of the sacrament of baptism. And thus we must consecrate to God, through the Blessed Virgin Mary, all that we have. That is, the five barley loaves and the two fish. We can understand these two fish to refer perhaps to the body and the soul, and the five barley loaves to the five senses of the body. If we do not give all of these things to our Lord Jesus, he will not be able to work a miracle of the multiplication of grace in us, indeed, that reveals his presence in the world. So we must give him our body and our soul. Today, there are many who consecrate to him, they would think, their mind, but leave their body aside. They want with their mind to think about religious things and indeed to imagine perhaps that they are holy while giving their body over to acts of sin, perhaps impurity, pornography, or the like. And then there are others who consecrate to God their body but leave free their mind from the yoke of obedience. And these might be those, for example, either traditionalists or modernists who prefer their own judgment to the yoke of obedience and to docilely following the Holy Father in the Church. And we must consecrate to God also the five barley loaves of our senses. We do this by practicing constant and perpetual mortification in little things. We remember the beautiful example of one soul, a devotee of Our Lady from the 20th century, who I must confess, whose name escapes me at this particular moment, but who wanted to offer Our Lady a sacrifice of 12 acts of mortification every day in honor of her 12 stars, which crowned her in the vision of John in the book of Revelation. This constant desire to practice self-denial in order to be freer for the love and service of God is certainly a beautiful act of love and a perfect expression of consecration. All of this will make us just like that little boy, a child of Mary and similar to our Lord Jesus Christ. So let us ask St. Andrew today to pray for us and to keep us in sweetness and littleness of heart 
so that believing and loving will not be too difficult for us and we might remain firm through good times and bad until the end when we will come to share with Andrew an eternal reward in the happiness of heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit.